Good afternoon to all of you, and especially I, I thank the inviter, uh, Shashita, Dr. Shashita Basi, and all, all the uh, expert, honored expert professors and doctors of VMFT uh, uh, network uh, for inviting us to this uh, launch seminar for, for our collaboration. It is uh, hugely uh, important and, and we are very proud to be here and, and start this uh, collaboration together with you. And it was so interesting to listen to these first talks. We are, as, as was mentioned, we are very different countries. We are a small country far away in the north at the moment. I think we have, might have even minus degrees and a little bit warmer <laughs> inside here, outside. And we have a very small population and a very, very long history of coming a very poor agricultural country to, to one of the most successful countries in the whole world. And it, the, our success was totally based not on natural resources, which we don't have so many. It was based on the most important resource, the human capital, and, and, and how much we have invested in education. However, doing this invested in education and, and being long a kind of uh, very appreciated country concerning our, our high quality education, we know that there is a lot that we can learn in collaboration with you, in professors, doctors, schools, teachers from India. So we think that this uh, building this kind of uh, long term uh, collaboration, it needs that. Uh, it's very important for it to succeed is that we find uh, mutual interest. We need, discover the needs, the challenges that are facing. I think we are, the challenges that are facing education, what was thought in the very first, first speech there, they are quite common, although the countries are very, very different. So I, I just want to say I'm heartfully thankful for inviting us and having this opportunity to, to start collaborating with us. And, and we de decided with my colleague, Professor Anna-Maja Poikkeus, that I uh, very shortly give an overview of what, what this jindal is, and then Anna-Maja will continue talking a little bit uh, more precise about the research, uh, in research of education in, in our country. So I don't really know how much you know about jindal, but I go it through briefly. So although I represent here University of Jyväskylä, I'm a vice rector responsible for education there. Uh, mostly I represent the Jindal Global Innovation Network for Teaching and Learning, which is not at all about only University of Jyväskylä, but it is a, a larger network. And it was an uh, invention of our ministry's internationalization program it was built up in 2021, and at this moment, we know that this Jindal program is going to continue until 2024. Uh, but we have heard uh, from our ministry, Ministry of Education, and, and the people from ministry that India is very, very important uh, companion, col collaboration partner uh, in education with Finland. So we hope that nothing ends uh, in 2024, that this is just a beginning for a very long-term, mutually profiting, good relationship. So as I said, it, this, is, this, was, this jindal was initiated by, by our ministry, and it, it, was, it is a network in the making. We are showing seeds for sustainable Indo-Finnish collaborations. We have set to ourselves three goals. First, the Finnish higher education institutions together with the Indian partners co-explore solutions and suggestions to educational challenges. And the second goal is to increase sustainable partnerships between Indian and Finnish academia and practitioners in the fields of teaching and learning. And the third one is boost mobility and Indo-Finnish mindsets between Finnish and Indian higher education institutions. 
And as you can see, there were all together eight, these kind of global pilot networks, which Jindal is one of them. Uh, and this Jindal has three bilateral branches, Jindal India, Jindal Africa, and Jindal China. And we, the University of Jyväskylä, we are so proud that we can coordinate the Jindal India collaboration. And I saw the, show you the, the other Jindal India partners of our higher education institutions. And so there are both universities and universities of applied science involved. And there you can see Finnish maps and, and the cities where, where these high education institutions are located. You can find more information concerning Jindal and how, it, how to get involved from these websites. So now I give floor to anna Maya Poikkeus to go deeper in, in the education, the field of research in education. So thank you. <laughs> 